Hey everyone, welcome to another process video. I'm Jenny and today I'm working with this um, collection from Pink Fresh, Fresh Studios, the Up in the Cloud collection and continuing on with this. So I'm making a few layouts with this collection. So that's what you'll see over the next couple of days. And I'm using this beautiful aqua background with the white little dash lines. Um, as my background piece, I'm wanting to add a couple of, oh, well, I have add one of the journaling cards as well. That's the piece that says, you, you may say I'm a dreamer. So I want to add that for um, this photo. It's a photo of my daughter, Johanna, and she's making, I don't know, we're at a restaurant. She was folding up pieces of paper, origami cranes and things. They had them there for the children, but she thought it was great. But she is a big dreamer so she dreams big and plans big and sometimes we just wonder where she you know gets the ideas from but you know I just go she's a dreamer but she's a dreamer and she sees a lot of her things come to fruition which is awesome so they're not just pipe dreams she actually dreams big and then watches it all unfold before her so that's what this photo is we were out at my husband's birthday he just turned 50 and we were out with his family for tea and so I pulled out my phone of course as you do and snapped a picture. Mm. So I'm just playing with the die cut pack there to the left and I'm placing a lot of the bits and pieces down as you do and you know seeing whether I like them what I can use and you know it's an elimination program process so I actually lay some things down decide that no that's not actually going to work and then I decide that I'm going to put it to the side what else can I work with and for me that is a part of the creating and it's actually a part of the visual um, you know but the visual part that I actually really like is just laying them down and seeing so I don't commit to anything at this stage unless I'm absolutely sure that that's what I want like the card and the picture placement and I actually just move things around so you saw me put um, that little puffy scalloped scalloped um, stickers to the top and the bottom of the photo they were really cute so I thought I would just frame the photo a little bit with those and then just you know I know that I want to use that little gold love heart there and um, just trying to find something that's going to work underneath it. So it takes me a while to work out what I want to do with it, but that's okay. I'm enjoying the process. And like I said, the whole layout only took, I think it was about 15 minutes, 16, 17 maybe. Um, so it was relatively quick and came together, um, you know, pretty easily. So I think that I choose that pink heart. So even though it's a little bit of a different colored um, tone to the banner I'm still happy to use that so here I am I'm ready to commit to sticking some things down and some things I want flat and some things I want to you know pop up with a little bit of dimension so I want that banner to pop up off the page a little bit and gives a little, little bit of shadow to the page to uh, just underneath it so that's the look that I'm going for but I was happy to have that star you know to be flat on the page so happy for this one to be tucked under there flat and I think that I get this um, heart and pop that one up on a little bit of foam so this collection is a beautiful little collection to work with with lots of pastel tones and just pretty pretty colors and fun um, designs on the papers and you really don't have to do much with them at all because you know the background's pretty much done and for those of us who love you know a bit of mixed media well I don't really have to do much because yeah, they've done it all for us so this is a great collection if you are you know really pressed for time um, to be able to create something you know relatively quickly because the back like I said the background's done and they've got some awesome puffy stickers and die cuts as well that are easy to work with so just pulling out some more puffy stickers and I put a little mushroom under the star just trying to work out what I'm going to put in that little cluster seeing if any of the puffy stickers work and I end up using one of the little circle well, there we go these little circle um, wood veneers 
and I just add one of those to each little point and just to give it a little bit of extra added interest and I decide like my layout the other day that I'm going to run a pen around the edge so I just go one way and turn it around and go the other way so I have two lines that aren't perfectly straight they're a bit wobbly so therefore if I go off you know and off the page a little bit or wobble it doesn't really matter so you know it's just a rough um, pen mark there and just helps to bring the page you know give the page a little bit of a border without adding some more paper cardstock underneath so I'm just doing some journaling and it just says every day I'm so thankful that you are my daughter you give everything your best. You are beautiful inside and out and I love you. So, you know, um, my kids don't always see my layout. So, you know, they're not always home. Like my daughter works and she studies and so she's got a, a very full on life. And so, you know, sometimes we don't see each other. It's, you know, we just see each other coming and going. And so, you know, she doesn't always see the layouts that I'm making. So one day she'll have a pleasant surprise and just, you know, it's a nice way of just being able to leave a nice little message for your children. So you don't necessarily have to just um, journal about what's happening in the photo. But, you know, I like to journal about how I feel about the people in the photo and, um, you know, that I really love them. So that's a, a nice way to not necessarily tell the story in the photo, but to tell the story of, you know, my thoughts. And wouldn't we all just love to pick something up and have, you know, someone we love thoughts written down so we can actually see that, oh, you know, life got so busy. They didn't always say they love me, but it's obvious that, that they did. So that's the reason behind that. So I'm just adding some watercolor paint um, to different areas so just adding a little bit of splash of color around the page and having fun with that and I'm just using the tissue just to dab off some of the water or some of the color if I think that it went on a little bit too strong it's always a tricky one when you're working with the watercolors because they go on a little bit darker because it's, it's wet but then sometimes when it's dried you can hardly see see it so I think it's you know best just to go a little bit darker and and know that when it's you know dried it actually goes a little bit lighter on the page so must nearly be finished adding I think I add my black ink in the end There we go. So just about finished. Just wiping out the water from the paint and I'm going to add my black splatters. So I will say goodbye now because that's the end and you'll see some still shots coming up. So thank you for joining me today and thank you for leaving comments and for hitting that like button and just letting me know that you enjoyed the video. I will see you next time. Bye.